What are we doing? Well, same thing we've been doing the last five days. Walk in circles. <laughs> We're gonna walk in circles and uh, try to find Get some sightseeing. An animal. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're gonna, we finally, Garrett heard a bunch of bugling last night. So uh, he thinks, heard two or three different bulls down in here. And that's probably not even our bull that we've been chasing because he's around the knob like mm -hmm. a mile and a half away. So maybe, maybe it started. Um, maybe things are starting to get fired up. So we're gonna head up on top, cruise the top, come down, circle around, shoot a bull. Pack camp, pack him, and do it again tomorrow. No. Sound like a plan? You forgot one key step. Eat tender one tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Yeah. sighs> we're, we're having a good time and getting yeah, a little frustrated, but I mean, <clears throat> it's not like there's no elk here. So there's, there's some here. elk here. We just gotta be at the right place, right time. Hopefully today that's up on top, so we can hike it downhill. To the closest road. To the closest road, yes. <laughs> okay. Hiked up uh, on top of this mountain. It's the highest mountain in North America. Not really. It just feels like it. Uh, let's see here. Pull up the good old Onyx. About 6,000 feet, it says. Yeah. 59. 5,900. So, yeah. A little windy, smoke's rough, but uh, we were hoping maybe to get some some boogles or something. But I think we're gonna keep working our way to the south here. Just kind of work our way around this big basin where we've been the last couple days, chasing that bull. So let's see if we can get in front of them. We don't, well, we don't even know where he's at, so we'll see if we can locate us a, an eelk. That's some bear activity, huh? Been digging them that long. Maybe we'll sneak up on them and stick them with an arrow. Be very, very quiet. We are hunting bears.
probably couldn't hear it on the on here, but just had right in front of Chris a uh, bull bugle back to him. So he doesn't have his hearing aids in, so he can't hear. <laughs> That was fun. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Close. Close. But oh, I really wish we could have got to see him. Yeah. That's one thing. But um, we got, he's exactly where, I mean, we thought he was going to be. And uh, we beagled, he beagled, we moved a little closer. He beagled, he beagled, and we took like, what, five steps, and he, and he busted. He was below us, went down, and around, and then... He just doesn't want to play. We were just pushing him, pushing him, pushing him, pushing him. That's the third time, right? 
Wow. You know, third time we've hurt, we've hurt him. Second time we've pushed him hard like that. Yeah. And uh, we tried to do a big bunch of raking and stuff to see if we can get him fired up and turned around, but it just didn't work. And then the last time we hurt him, he was above, he ended up above us. We dropped down thinking he was going lower. And we, he was above us probably 125 yards, 100 yards. Mm -hmm. And then we started moving up. And then there was just a wall of thick brush and we could hear him on the other side walking. And then he kind of and he either went up and over the top or he went down low. Probably went up and over. We haven't heard him again. It's been about probably a solid 20 minutes. We haven't heard him. And he showed up. So, don't know if he's a big, big bull and he's just not wanting to play, or if he's a smaller bull and doesn't want to get in a fight, or they're just not fired up yet. But Something. I would have thought when we were that close on him in his bedroom, knocked him up out of his bed, I thought. We were gonna get him to come in. Yeah. At least come yeah. in. Because yeah. it's not, he's not smelling us. He's not seeing us. He just doesn't want to play. He just doesn't want a confrontation right now. Well, we could be too aggressive, maybe. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. He just doesn't want to play. He doesn't respond to cow calls no. at all. And he, he only responds to the bugles. And, and that's even still hit or miss. Yeah, hit or miss. Tree. It's far away. So, uh, sit here, have a little bit of a break. Yeah, catch my breath. That was a, that was a pretty good push. Yeah. Story of my life. Back here dying. Trying to catch up to that guy. And he just laughs at me. He says, let's go, old man. Don't be such a sissy. Kids these days, I swear. Yeah, I mean, it could have been. But there's no air tracks. No. Oh, this is weird. Definitely a bull that rolling around in there. Hi. This is a new country we haven't been in, so. Dog is excited to see us. Uh, yeah, Chris's brother's uh, coming in tonight. So we hike back down here, uh, kind of repack and uh, wait for him to get here. And we're gonna head in first thing tomorrow morning. And uh, when we got a few more days, we'll have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is full days. And then Friday morning, we gotta hike out. So plan is to hike in with a bunch of stuff. Nice grueling long hike tomorrow morning and set the spike camp and hunt from there. So, there you have it. Well, there goes Chris. He's gonna go climb up this mountain here because somebody left his crocs at the top of the mountain the other night, well, the other morning. Good luck out there, buddy. Well, I found him. Uh, whew, it took me just that 50 minutes, a little over a thousand feet elevation climb, and just shy of three miles. But I found my Crocs I forgot on day one at the very first camp we were at. So now I grab these, go back down to camp, and uh, drink a lot of water. Oh, that's fun. Now on the way back down. How was your hike? It was good. Where'd you, did you get your Crocs? I did. Yeah, we were worried about you. Well, I was worried when I made it halfway and realized I had no way to protect me from a bear or mountain lion except my sissy stick. <laughs> you could have just screamed loud, I'd have came and saved you. 
I did see one cat track. It would have taken me a while to get there, but I would have saved you. Or at least drink and drug your body back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, at least you got your Crocs. Yep. That'll learn you. So, we're right by camp. And uh, it's a big field right here. So, we snuck out here to see if we out here a few nights ago. We'll see. Maybe we'll see something. Maybe we won't. Maybe there'll just be two retards sitting here in the, in the trees. All we'll camoed up and nowhere to go. No. We'll see. You see anything yet? No. What about now? No. Okay. Still nothing. Okay. So here's the update. We still haven't seen anything. Except for a brook trout. We did see that. And we saw a keep out sign. But no deer. We're gonna keep looking though. I'll give you another update later. How many deer did we see? A hundred. We let them all pass, and we didn't take any video. There, there was a six by six mule deer buck. <laughs> Double drop times. Double drop times. We let him pass. Times two. We're gonna shoot next year. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we didn't see a damn thing. <laughs>